Hot babe? That has to be a hot babe. How can you sell a phone without a hot babe? How about having a story? Because no movie is gonna sell just for having a hot woman. You can have a bunch of lesbians in the last airbender movie and doing nothing more than covering themselves in mud, and the movie would still suck. The stereotypical roles out there for women are the wife, much younger than the husband. Um, how many movies out there even have that trope? The only way a woman who is far younger than their date to, to even be together if they were just after the money. That is all there is to it. And I have no problem if a woman wants to date a much older man. Hell, would you not do the same if the roles were reversed, especially if the dude happens to be extremely attractive? The mother, devoid of any sensuality, sexuality. How the fuck do you know that? Realistically, someone who already has kids would not be flaunting around their sexuality like some fucking crazy asshole. And I know how you feminists act. If she acts too sexually, it's bad representation of women because they're nothing more than mere cock-hungry slots. But on the other hand, if we just put them in a more domesticated position where they are not sexually identified, then all of a sudden she is the parade of her sexuality. There is no way to please you motherfuckers unless we bend over backwards for you. Doctors, minority women, definitely. Be proud that women can be doctors. Aren't you feminists complaining on how representation matters? I've played a few of those stereotypical roles. We've been hearing for, the, for a very long time studio heads, producers and agents and actors themselves saying that there should be more women roles, but there is a certain way that women have been viewed and filmed for years. I assume you're talking about how women are seen as nothing more as mere sex objects. There are plenty of women with great talent that is not given the opportunity. What do you mean by that? I've seen plenty of girls either being badass or having at least a personality that isn't a bland cardboard box. Have you watched Kill Bill? Of course not! It's too violent for you! The next generation of young boys and girls, you can really shape the way they think about girls and women if the representation in film is not just objectification, that they just see strong female characters from now on. Bullshit! No little girl is gonna have the same princess mindset when they grow up. They're not gonna take their own goddamn morals from films like Hunger Games, which is basically a survival game, which is kill or be killed. And the newest Star Wars film may be good, but Tina is nothing more than a mere copy and paste of Luke Skywalker. She's nothing more than a mere Mary Sue. Replace her with an equally good actor who happens to be male, and the results would still be the same, but it would even be more obvious. What you're saying is that as long as the character is not overly sexualizing and just headstrong, it doesn't matter if the film involves slaughtering witches and vampires. Hell, the movie itself doesn't have to be good. It just has to be decent enough. And that is low. People are not driven morally through movies or TV shows or even video games. It is yourself. And if you can do that, then so can your daughters. It's sad that I have to be the one to tell you this. If we keep feeding the role of the woman as an object, then most likely we will treat the woman as an object. Because this is how society works. Meanwhile, objectification of men is okay because dictionary. This is one of the most commonly made arguments of feminism, which is the objectification of women, which is almost as common as the wage gap. I will go into deeper explanation on how this argument is one of the worst ones out there in my series called The Common Arguments of Feminism. I am the Atheist Gamer, keep gaming on.